Hello, it's uh, 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition. For tonight's headlines, uh, we have... Uh, the Harvey State has returned to the capital from uh, Egypt, Cairo. For the international scene, uh, the voters moved in large numbers uh, in calm atmospheres. Uh, Welcome to our newsroom. The President of the Republic uh, returns to the countries uh, after his participation in the Arab uh, League uh, European Union Summit. Uh, the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Margele, has returned today, Monday, in the middle of the afternoon. The countries, after its, after its uh, participation in the first uh, summit, uh, Arab League and European Union, which took place in the tourist uh, resource of Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt. Uh, several topics uh, were on the agenda of this summit, having present presidential values between uh, the two blocs, achieving win-win economic partnership and strengthening the level of exchange and collaboration between the two sides in preventing, regulating, and uh, combating the major uh, transcontinental challenges that are inter alia international crimes, uh, extremism and uh, terrorism were the main working team of the first Arab League European Union summit. Uh, the issue of migration is subject uh, on topicals uh, also included the agenda of this summit. Beyond this summit served as a platform for exchanges uh, around many regional crises, including the conflict in Yemen, Libya and Syria. Djiboutian participation is, uh, in this first Arab League European Union summit was uh, marked by the important speech made by the President uh, of the Republic uh, at the forums of this event. Uh, the first uh, summit of the Arab states and European Union uh, opened today is in the seaside resource of uh, Sharm el Sheikh in the presence of a large number of head of state and government of uh, two parties. Uh, Ismail Margele participate alongside his peers in this uh, first summit of the European Union and the League of uh, Arab States. This summit will uh, address several topics on common interest, of uh, which three main topics will be on the agenda economic cooperation between Europe and Arab countries, global challenges and regional issue first trade and investment around the Mediterranean, as well as education and uh, social issue will be discussed in the registers of global challenges. The two sides uh, will discuss uh, multilateralism, climate change, migration, security, and the situation is in the region. Regional issues such as uh, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, uh, Syria, Yemen, and Libya will also be discussed. Uh, closer contact and cooperation between EU and Arab League uh, member can uh, potentially improve our prosperity and stability in both regions. Other issues will be addressed uh, at the EU-Arab League Summit uh, on prospect for cooperation between the two sides and common challenges, uh, in particular the fight against uh, terrorism and organized uh, crime. Other issues will be on the summit agenda concerning migration, human rights, women empowerment, sustainable development and climate changes and economic cooperation to know the participation of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the government's focus man, Mr. Muhammad Ali Yusuf, uh, the ambassador of Djibouti in Cairo, Mohamed Duhur Hesi, and the ambassador of Djibouti in Belgium, Mr. Omar uh, Abdi Said, alongside the president of the Republic, Ismail Omar Gele, at this uh, summit, uh, EU Arab League. For his part, the president of the Republic uh, took the floor in the Arab League and European Union summit. Uh, listen to this report. I would first like to extend my warmest gratitude to my brother, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, and his government, as well as the people, for their warm welcome and hospitality. We are meeting today in the midst of an important stage full of constructive and urgent work. We are meeting in the framework of the first summit between the Arab and European sides, which marks a new era in the process of cooperation and strategic partnership between the two parties. 
We cannot fail to pay tribute to this remarkable development which reflects our firm determination to improve the mechanism of our joint work in order to achieve our common interest and goals. Your Majesties, Excellencies, Highnesses, Ladies and Gentlemen, the Arab world and Europe have deep-rooted relations, close links based on a long and rich cultural, economic, commercial, political and security history as well as geographical proximity which is one of the most important elements of this link. We are called upon to build on what has been established in the past to work towards its development and push it towards a wider horizon and to develop common visions of the challenges and crises facing all us. In this context, we are called upon to strengthen coordination and work together to consolidate the security, stability, development, and prosperity of all countries and peoples and to confront common challenges such as illegal immigration, extremism, and terrorism through effective solutions based on comprehensive approach that address the real causes of this phenomena. Your Majesties, Excellencies, Highnesses, the Plash Palestinian, Your Majesties, Excellencies, Highnesses, the Palestinian issue will remain the central issue of the Arab peoples and to achieve stability in the entire Middle East region. In this regard, we appreciate the European Union's support for the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. We also reaffirm the need to adhere to the two-state solution and relevant United Nations resolution. With regard to the situation in Syria, we reiterate the importance of finding a peaceful and sustainable solution to the Syrian crisis. We note all efforts made in this regard, including the high-level conference hosted by the European Union in March on the developments in Libya. We stress the importance of pushing for a political solution and supporting efforts to implement the Skirat Agreement reached in 2015. With regard, push our European relations to a wider space and strengthen regional and international peace. Thank you. Peace be upon you and God, mercy and bless. On the sidelines of the first summit of the European Union and the League of Arab States, the President of the Republic, Ismail Margheli, has uh, received today the Prime Minister and Head of Government of Estonia, Mr. Juri Raisa. The meeting took place uh, in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, the Ambassador of uh, Djibouti in Cairo, Mohamed Duhur Hersi, the Ambassador of Djibouti in Brussels, Omar Abdi Said. The two sides refer to several topics of common interest as well as uh, ways uh, to strengthen relations between the Republic of Djibouti and Latvia. On the other hand, the uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, met on the sidelines of the first uh, EU Arab summit. Uh, his counterpart, Mr. Carmelo Abello, the Maltese Minister for Foreign Affairs and Trade Promotion, during the meeting, the two sides uh, discussed the regional and international situation, as well as ways and means to strengthen friendly relations between the Republic of Djibouti and Malta. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of Djibouti, Cairo, Mohamedour Hesi, the Ambassador of Djibouti in Belgium, Omar Abdi Said, the Director of Multilateral Relations, uh, Gele Idris Omar, and the Deputy Directors of the Arab Department, uh, Ms. Uh, Hodan. The workshop uh, was uh, placed uh, under the high patronage of the RPP Vice President Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, the Direct with uh, Emotionist Gallery, the Secretary General of the RPP, Ilyas uh, Musa Dawale, the President of the Committee, Mr. Nagib uh, Abdullah Kamil, several members of the government, teacher, researcher of university, senior executive of various ministries and several uh, sympathizers of uh, RPP activists. Uh, the objective of this workshop was uh, to expand uh, its uh, thinking 
by involving intellectuals whose analysis, criticism, and uh, recommendations will help uh, to envision a future with hope uh, for great teams was on the agenda, namely how to promote uh, exchanges between intellectuals and the RPP party, peace and national harmony, the participation of Jerusalem women in political and partisan life. Uh, finally, how to make development more inclusive uh, and uh, profitable to all Jerusalem, especially to the youth of the countries. Each team was uh, presented by a research professor from the University of Djibouti. The discussions were fruitful and intense on the themes of the day. Recommendations were made and it's in this sense a report was handed to the party's vice president, Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed. For his part, the Secretary General of the RPP party, Ilyas Musa Dawale, thanked the committee for organizing this uh, workshop, which is uh, so important for the evolution uh, of the RPP party, which will celebrate its 40th uh, anniversary on March 4th. The Prime Minister and Vice President of RPP party, Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, said the objective of this workshop was to expand its uh, thinking by involving intellectuals whose uh, analysis, criticism and recommendations will help to envision a future with hope. The discussions were fruitful and intense uh, on the theme of the, the day, he said. The Minister of uh, Women and Family, Mumina Ahmed Hassan, and the Director of the National Agency for Persons with Disability, ANPH, Mr. Duale Saeed Mohammed, signed this morning a partnership agreement in his cabinet of the Minister of uh, Women. This partnership agreement aimed to set up uh, a partnership between the Minister of Women and Family, the ANPH for Women, Special Needs, and Children. Recall that the Minister of uh, Women and Family is engaged before children and women with special needs uh, when necessary. The ministry is doing its work and collaborating with the INPH to provide the means uh, to reduce the vulnerability of people with disability, the director of NPH say. For her part, uh, the Minister of uh, Women and Family, Mumina Ahmed uh, Hassan, uh, said she has uh, signed a convention with the NPH how to work with especially women and children who have special needs. Uh, we are always uh, there for people in need of space and support them where they are. This is the first time, so we have signed this convention with the NPH and will be a partnership like any other ministry. The Directorate of uh, Maritime Affairs, uh, the users uh, informs the users of the Mohammed Burhan Qasim's boat uh, that it plans uh, for the ferry of to service over three times a week from uh, the mid March. The Directorate of Maritime Affairs uh, regret the situation of uh, recent days, but uh, unfortunately, this boat is not uh, the liner queen. Uh, can only carry only 115 passengers and 15 vehicles with a total of 113 tons of uh, bed. Uh, we cannot allow uh, our service uh, to reflect uh, the safety of our fellow citizens and the ship. Uh, this year, uh, the boat will be 10 years old, will, and it's uh, thanks uh, to the rigors of this this boat has uh, remained in the same conditions as the first uh, year in services. Also, it is uh, thanks uh, to this uh, consistency uh, that uh, the Japanese government to validate the acquisitions of the second scheduled boat uh, next year, uh, or Tujura and Obok will uh, each have uh, a boat. Uh, thus, uh, the northern region will be totally opened up. Uh, that is uh, why we appeal uh, to the indulgence uh, of our fellow citizens. Having a policy of uh, industrialization is uh, in order to make uh, industry a level for growth uh, was uh, the theme of uh, 
of a confidence that opened early this uh, morning at the Diplomatic Institute. This conference uh, chaired by the Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, with the Secretary General of uh, Finance has brought together the senior executive of the administrations, the major actors of the institution concerned, animated by Dr. Kenichi o o Ohino, a researcher of the Development Forum, highlighted the need to implement different uh, metrics in administrative, uh, political, economic, and business reforms to make industry the drivers of uh, economic growth. Always uh, in the news from the countries, an information is meeting on the new policy visa Djibouti took place uh, this morning at Kempinski Hotels. Uh, this uh, unit organized uh, by the National Police was uh, presided over the director of this institution, Colonel Abdullahi Abdi Farah, and they took part in the, that uh, the officials of the airlines, but also travel agencies. Uh, indeed, a new law of uh, visa pricing has been promulgated by the President of the Republic. This new law of listening to will the President of the Republic to develop uh, the tourism and for that it was necessary to organize this meeting of information between on the hand, uh, one hand the national police but the air company and travel agencies. Uh, let us make uh, this, speech, uh, this speech of the Directorate of the National uh, Police. Uh, for the international uh, scene, uh, the leaders of the European uh, Union and the Arab uh, League uh, insisted Monday on the need of, uh, to resolve the conflict that uh, plagued the Middle East uh, on the last days of their unprecedented summit in Sharm el Sheikh, Eastern Egypt. Uh, Monday morning, many exchanges took place uh, between the leaders of the, on the regional conflict in a summit that brings together since about uh, 14 head of state and prime ministers uh, from both shores of the Mediterranean. In a speech of the press, uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel uh, drew up uh, a list of uh, topics discussed uh, with her counterpart from the two entities, uh, Syrian conflict, Libya, Iran fight against uh, Islamic terrorism. Uh, she also stressed the need uh, to reach a two-state uh, solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and to resolve the terrible humanitarian catastrophe in Yemen. Aware of the difficulties of the task, the Luxembourg Prince uh, Minister, Prime Minister Xavier Bretel uh, assured the press, uh, if you believe that we see our service uh, 24 hours in Sharm el Sheikh and then it is peace uh, in the world and in the region that uh, everything is uh, over, you can you believe uh, in Santa Claus, he said. This is it uh, for the news. Uh, thanks uh, for watching us. Uh.